This short video lecture is on measuring evaporation. A low budget and direct way to obtain some measure of the evaporation rate on days with no precipitation is to use a pan filled with water and to measure the height of the water in the pan for two consecutive days at exactly the same time. The difference in height in millimeter divided by the time interval in days yields the pan evaporation in millimeter per day. The open water evaporation is the rate of liquid water transformation to vapor from open water in millimeter per day. The pan evaporation in millimeter per day will generally be higher than the open water evaporation in millimeter per day from a lake nearby. One of the reasons for this is that the small size of the pan ensures a warming effect of the sides of the pan by solar radiation. This will significantly enlarge the evaporation output from the pan because of the warming up of the water inside the pan by the pan itself. Thus, to obtain open water evaporation rates from pan evaporation data, the pen evaporation values need to be multiplied by a pen coefficient p. A fractional value larger than zero and smaller than one that depends on the type of pen used and the time of use, the season. The photo shown is a photo of the US Class A evaporation pen. Other well-known evaporation pans are the Colorado Sunken Pan, which is a square pan sunk into the ground, or the US Geological Survey Floating Pan, which is a pan that floats on the water. P on an annual basis for these evaporation pans is approximately 0 0.8. This picture shows the rate of evaporation in millimeter per day on the vertical axis for a high relative humidity of the air above the water as opposed to a low relative humidity of the air above the water as a function of the size of the evaporating surface pans and lakes open water evaporation when the weather is warm and the relative humidity of the air is low the difference between pan evaporation and open water evaporation will be larger than when the weather is cold and the relative humidity of the air is high. Thus, pan coefficients for the same type of pan are usually smaller, that is, a larger correction is needed in summer than in winter. The best way to obtain values of actual or potential evaporation is by installing a lysimeter. The lysimeter shown in this picture is a device made of steel, concrete or synthetic material dug into the terrain in which a volume of soil, usually with vegetation, is isolated hydrologically, preventing leakage from the device. The position of the water table in the lysimeter is monitored and can be regulated by pumping measured amounts of water in or out. In a weighing lysimeter, the change in water storage is determined by the difference in mass of the lysimeter. The evaporation is estimated from the water balance. The diameter of a lysimeter typically varies from 0.5 to 2 meters with larger devices having surface areas of the order of 35 by 25 square meters. Lysimeters are difficult and expensive to install, but are most useful in experimental research for obtaining empirical equations to estimate evaporation from meteorological variables. In the Netherlands, four lysimeters with a long track record since the late 1930s are located in the dunes nearby the township of Kastrikun. 